all right guys welcome back and thanks for tuning into another video so the original audio on the video got messed up so i'm doing a nice little voiceover for you guys as you can see we're on the top deck i'm giving you guys an overview of what today's video is going to be about and actually the video is going to be about dethatching your lawn this is that step number one that i was telling you about where you want to clear out any debris any materials anything that you do not want on your yard for this upcoming spring season this is going to help the grass the good grass actually thrive the soil is going to be able to take in more nutrients because it's going to be free of all that debris and all that other material stuff you, you just want to make sure you just get it all out so the thatch is that brown you see how the yard has that brownish tint that's a lot of dead material that's on the yard that's wilted and it's like basically serving no purpose so i'm going to show you two methods to getting that uh dead material off the yard one you're going to be able to use a fine tine rake two you're going to actually use an actual dethatcher tool yard tool um i'm going to give you a quick demonstration of everything i just wanted to give you guys an overview because you can see the thatch layer from the top here basically that brown now all, now all brown is thatch some of the brown is a uh, dormant grass but once i give you a close-up you'll see the difference between dormant grass and thatch thatch is going to just be wilted laying down on the yard and is basically stealing all the nutrients sunlight anything from the soil from the other good grass roots so we want to make sure we remove all of that right now so let's go down to the yard i'm gonna give you guys a close-up and um you guys can watch the demonstration so stay tuned okay so as you guys can see i got a close-up here on the thatch layer that i already started removing this video is actually shot over a two-day span i just wanted to put that in there um i ran out of time this first day but this is a close-up of the thatch layer this is all this the the garbage basically that's hidden underneath the grass that's giving it that brown undertone of your good green grass so if you wonder why your grass looks kind of brown all season long you might have a thick uh, thatch layer as you can see this stuff comes up very very easy i'm picking it up very very easy you want to make sure you get all of this stuff off the soil it's dead so you know it's serving no purpose but uh it's basically robbing your good grass of all its nutrients because if you do overseeding the seeds are going to just fall right on top of this uh thatch layer it's never going to make it down to the soil even if you do like fertilizer so as you can see here this is a bare spot look how i'm just clearing it out because all of that dead debris down there so well, if you're using a fine time rate you'll be able to get all of this crap out or a dethatcher so i'm going to show you the quick demonstration but i just wanted to show you guys a close-up of how everything look now you see the grass my good grass is green it's popping in nice but it got that brown stuff now some of the brown stuff is grass that's still dormant but the the wilted stuff that is thatch and um i had heavy thatch back here um last season i wasn't able to get some of this stuff up um you can dethatch your lawn early spring or early fall in the active growing season that's when you want to do it so i'm going to do it in the early spring here so i have my, enough time so i can oversee as you see this back corner i already did this back corner back here with the fine time rake so we're going to go ahead i'm going to give you a quick demonstration but stay tuned i'm going to demonstrate and show you what type of rake i'm going to use on this uh, grass here and it's actually a fine tine rake here you can find this at one of the big box stores and um this it's a cheap rake it's about eight bucks at walmart i believe this is where i got that one um, from eight and some change but this is the rake you want to use you do not want to use the hard plastic rake because the hard plastic rake will actually rip out your real grass out of the soil too if it's too early in the season and them roots did not fully germinate yet all right so this is what we want to the area i'm going to work on as you can see if you see around here there's a lot of dead material in this area right here so after i start using this fine tine rake i'm going to get a lot of this dead material up um and it comes up very very easy so i'm going to show you right now so you see all this all this crap coming up right here all of this look how easy that was 
this is what you want to remove out of your yard and you want to just get as much as you possibly can you don't have to be perfect with it but you want to make sure you got the soil exposed now you see the good grass in between there is still intact because this rake is not pulling on that good grass see that so only the dead material is coming up so check that out that's all that dead material that's all that dead material in the yard there just from raking that little area right here but as you see it looks a whole lot better you see the soil is exposed now I could clean it up a little bit more but you don't have to go too 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 crazy about it as long as you can see the soil and then when you plant your new grass seed because like I said some of that brown material that's in there is stuck in there and it's dormant grass it's got rooted its roots so you don't have to worry about that you want to get up all the crap all the crap that's smothering out the good grass so you see from just raking that little time I added more to that little pile I had I got a, another little pile over here and um, some more that I raked out earlier in the day but as you can see for the most part this side looks a lot better I'll give you an up top view once again of this side so now this next side I'm gonna show you with the dethatcher all right so here we go so this is the dethatcher this is made by Sunjo it is electric so you're gonna need a long enough cord if you're planning to do a big yard with this uh, device this machine here um, like I said, I had this for about two seasons now and um, only used it one time in the front. But this is what you want to do use in early spring or early fall when the grass is actively growing. Because you want to be able to give your grass a chance to heal itself. You don't want to use this device in the summertime when you're um, when the grass is at its highest stress level. So it comes with two settings here well two uh devices here you got these small tines i don't know if you guys can see it it's these little real fine fine tines here and you got to be careful because sometimes the these little tines here will break off and um in the box they give you a few extra like a little pack with an extra um a few of these tines so they know they do break because uh depending on your soil if it's hard these little things are very very fine I wonder if you guys can see that yep so this is what you're gonna use if you want to take the less aggressive approach now if you want a little more you got a heavy buildup of thatch in the grass then you use this one now as you can see this is the scarifier so one is called like the dethatcher and one is the scarifier they both pretty much do the same thing this one I'm holding right here is a little more aggressive so if you have that heavy heavy thick thick build up layer of thatch and um you should know if you have a heavy build up layer of thatch because your your grass or your soil when you walk on it it have like a little sponge sponge type of filling here now like i said this stuff that's on top here is not really thatch thatch is about one inch layer in the soil itself it's like it's down underneath the like the first layer of the soil now this scarifier and this dethatcher will do a good job of pulling up this dead material like I was showing you with the rake so you can use a rake or you can use this little dethatcher here So as you guys can see, I did that first pass, went all the way down, came back, and just look at all, all the dead material that it picked up. So now, you want to go ahead, the machine, the Sunjo machine comes with a bagger also. The bagger is very small, 
so you're gonna keep dumping it and dumping it so I'd rather just do it like this and pick it up all at once but just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how it looked all this dead material this stuff was in the lawn and it was wasn't gonna help the other grass thrive so you want to make sure you get all of this dead material out it's a very simple process now like I said if you go down too far in the settings it will start to rip up the good grass so you just want to make sure you're careful with that but some of the good grass will get torn out anyway I'm on actually on the zero setting not too too aggressive but it is picking up all of this dead material so this is what you want so now your soil is exposed and you're going to have a good lawn right after you do this process here after you do this dethatching and overseed I promise you the lawn will pop back in and you'll have a nice summer lawn but you got to get this dead material out first so you see that first pile that was with the rake this was with the dethatcher machine here so let me go ahead and finish this side up and then we're going to come back and uh, let you guys be the judge which, which method is uh, right for you so stay tuned All right, so now we're back up top. The first side, hand rake, piled everything up. Second side, use the Sunjo Dethatcher Scarifier. And as you can see, to me it looks pretty good. Using that machine, there's a lot, um, my, in my opinion, it's quicker when you're going in straight lines. But personally, I prefer the rake method better because I'm able to go to this side, rake, 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 go to this side, rake, 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 you know, and, and turn and do, you know, whatever I want, basically freestyle. With the machine here, you're gonna have to go in straight line. So you go down in a straight line, and then you wanna come back, and you wanna probably overlap that first line that you did so you can get every square foot of the yard. So, you know, it, the mobility on, basically, on the machine, is a little little more you know a little difficult instead of you know when you're using the rake method when you're able to just to freestyle and grab wherever you see and just rake 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 but both styles work very well um what do you guys think how do you think the machine did are you interested in purchasing a a d thatcher for your own personal use all right so you guys we're wrapping this video up so now we got the cleanup time so now we got all this crap in the yard that we got to get up um, so I want to show you how I'm gonna do it the quickest way to do it the easiest way to do it Now you don't walk the yard you either raked it all up or you use the machine walk in the yard and you say hey, I don't feel like bending down putting this stuff in a bag You know, I'm kind of tired the sun is beaming on me. It's hot. I need something to drink anything of that nature um, You got one tool that you got right now in your shed or in your garage anywhere That's gonna help you pick this stuff up. So let's go and take a look at it right now Boom, there you go. Got your lawnmower. Your lawnmower, you're gonna go around and it's the easiest way to pick all this garbage, this crap up and um, save yourself less time. Yeah, you gotta walk the yard one more time, but you're not bending over, putting things in a bag, scooping things, raking. You just walk in the yard and acting like you're cutting the grass. And um, you actually might wanna cut the grass down a little bit because you're gonna be overseeding anyway. So. This is a one-stop shop. This is the easiest way to do it.
So, as you guys can see, everything is all set. No more than 10 minutes. So, it's very simple. With that little device that you carry right in your shed or your garage, 10 minutes, you get all that crap up and it'll break it down and you'll use less bags. So, and it's that simple.